Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This video is actually going to be a type of Duna fighter video. A fighter that could take off from Duna, get into orbit, defend the colony, and then come back down safely. <clears throat> However, I kind of got sidetracked and started to actually build the colony that the fighter would be defending. I wanted to try to get a mod that would allow me to mine and be able to build from resources collected from the planet's surface. But right now it doesn't look like any of the good ones are working, like simple construction. There's a couple other a couple of other ones out there, but they're pretty complex and I just don't have the patience to put them together. Plus I didn't really like the one that have that has the um, containers and I guess you click on the container and as the container is building it grows like a cartoon. It just seems a little bit of a little bit too fake for my tastes. Now it'd be cool if the container could be used to transport stuff, but it's neither here nor there. Now the fighter has two small missiles. These are uh, a new type of missile. I call them the scarab class because they're small like insects, small, you know, like little beetle insects. And of course the name scarab is, uh, sounds a lot better than, well, bug. <laughs> bug missile. In the video I'm going to test out the ship's capability of taking a hit. The fighter also has two cannons. Someone asked me about the cal settings and I usually put it under a thousand meters per second for the launch, launch velocity. The reason why is because if you start cranking it up to 10,000 or whatever the case may be, it starts acting more like thrust than an actual weapon and plus unfortunately because of the way the game is and the game engine and all our good stuff it can't calculate anything that moves too fast and so your cannon fire starts to glitch through the target so you want to bring it down at least under a thousand at least so i like i like about 700 meters per second launch velocity that's pretty good allows the game to calculate the hit and everything else so you're not glitching through the target even with a good solid hit the uh, fighter was able to land back on the Duna surface. I put parachutes in the fighter for landing purposes on Duna. Now this is a Duna strict, strictly Duna fighter. So it's aerodynamic for the thin atmosphere, but it has no air breathing engines obviously because there is no air on Duna. I try to make it simplistic so it has one engine because hey, if it gets hit by a missile and oh, let's put uh, two engines on there for, you know, redundancy. I'm sorry, if, you're sh if, <laughs> if your shit gets, if half of your ship gets blown up, you know, that, that other engine on the side is not going to help you a whole lot other than maybe little spurts, something that the Vernor thrusters could easily do. You're not going anywhere be like that night. It's just a flesh wound. Anyway, well I figured, you know what, if I can't get a building mod to work, I'll just use Vessel Mover to spawn in different buildings in order to build the colony. And I figured, hey, you know, I know it works. So as long as it's, uh, as long as the colony has a mining building and a factory building, then technically after a while you'd be able to build structures. But of course, structures need, uh, they need maintenance. So I started looking at developing a work truck using the new Kerbal inventory system that is now stock. The work truck can carry things like lights and struts and fuel lines and all the other good stuff. Now I tried to add fuel lines or attach fuel lines to the truck to see if that was that was a thing and unfortunately it is not. The vessels have to be docked together in order for anything to be linked together via struts or fuel lines. Now I know there's a mod out there I, I believe that um, works around that. I might download it. We'll see. I try to keep things as stock as possible. So all the parts are stock. Everything's stock. And the reason why I do that is that when I eventually get Kerbal X running, people can download it without having to worry about downloading a mod or not having the mod for the, the vessel. It's 100% stock. Any mods that I use don't change the part. The part's stock. It just might modify the function such as simple construction. Simple construction modifies the function of the docking ports to be like areas of where the construction can take place. And it modifies the ore tanks in order to create rocket parts or hold rocket parts or hold metal. It modifies the, the smelter that's supposed to be able to change ore into fuel types, but it gives it more options being able to make metal and things of this nature. You know, simply just modifying 
the part, but not actually changing the part completely, like a brand new part. I try to look for mods that are I try to look for mods that are more like that to make it simpler. So somebody could just grab the part, or somebody could just grab the craft file and be like, uh, just have fun with it without having to download 50, 60 different mods and all that headache. It was actually pretty fun using the vessel mover to spawn in new. Uh, buildings and things of this nature. I learned a couple of buildings were actually not designed very well, so I actually had to go back and redesign them to make sure they worked. The colony could use some of the lights for sure. It's a little dark during the nighttime, but I thought a small little colony like this, having two fighters, a work truck, maybe some other items, try to keep it under a thousand parts so my frame rate doesn't die. It actually looked really nice. It looked really cool. Each building is supposedly doing something for the colony like growing food, housing people, a type of bridge or command area, fuel tanks, factory, smelters, power, solar power. So everything works in tandem together. Trying to find a flat spot was fun. I really, 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 really wish that the devs would have thought about that before ruining all of our nice flat areas all those years ago. But that's okay. I found a tiny little flat spot, and I guess that'll do for now. But yeah, nice little colony. I'm, you know, if I do another colony um, thing, I'm, I'm thinking I'll just ditch the construction mod since that's not working. The simple construction mod, and I'll just use a vessel mover to spawn in stuff. So it'll be like a, it'll be like a rule book. You know, you must have this first before you can have that. You must have this first before you can have that. Just something to go by. So it's not like creative mode or like Minecraft creative mode and just spit out blocks as many as you want forever. But anyway, anyway, that's it for today. I'll be working on more stuff. I'm always fiddling around and tinkering, making new cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.